Listening test one. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B, or C. You will hear each piece twice. One. You hear two friends talking about attending a motor racing event. It's brilliant what they've done to improve the track, isn't it? It's faster and there's more room for overtaking. Everyone was there to have fun, and that made for a great feeling in the crowd. It was a wonderful day out. It's such a thrill to see and hear the cars. The race itself was less exciting than I'd been expecting, but the mood of the spectators made up for it. It was a bit difficult to find the exit, though. They need more signs to show how to find the car park when you're leaving.、Mm, we did get a bit stuck in the crowd on our way out. It's brilliant what they've done to improve the track, isn't it? It's faster and there's more room for overtaking. Everyone was there to have fun, and that made for a great feeling in the crowd. It was a wonderful day out. It's such a thrill to see and hear the cars. The race itself was less exciting than I'd been expecting, but the mood of the spectators made up for it. It was a bit difficult to find the exit, though. They need more signs to show how to find the car park when you're leaving.、Mm, we did get a bit stuck in the crowd on our way out. Two. You hear a football coach talking about a match. After losing an important match, as a coach, you go over and over what went wrong. You wonder if the players had had enough training beforehand. In this case, they'd been training every day for months. Physically, they should have been strong and fast enough to win, but the pressure and expectations make it difficult sometimes. I reckon they had so many thoughts going through their minds that they weren't thinking about the game itself, but more about winning the cup. That led to some crucial mistakes that allowed the other team to score, even though they were probably the weaker side when it comes to fitness. After losing an important match, as a coach, you go over and over what went wrong. You wonder if the players had had enough training beforehand. In this case, they'd been training every day for months. Physically, they should have been strong and fast enough to win, but the pressure and expectations make it difficult sometimes. I reckon they had so many thoughts going through their minds that they weren't thinking about the game itself, but more about winning the cup. That led to some crucial mistakes that allowed the other team to score, even though they were probably the weaker side when it comes to fitness. Three, you hear two people talking about a computer game. Have you been playing your new computer game? What do you think of it? Actually, it's quite hard to get the hang of. The way it operates, it takes an awful lot of practice. There are so many stages before you really understand how to play it well. But that's the whole point. Some people don't find that very interesting, but for me, that's the fun of it. Trying to work out how to beat the game, if you know what I mean. The worst thing is, it costs far more than I reckon it's worth. Probably because of all the TV advertising. Have you been playing your new computer game? What do you think of it? Actually, it's quite hard to get the hang of. The way it operates, it takes an awful lot of practice. There are so many stages before you really understand how to play it well. But that's the whole point. Some people don't find that very interesting. But for me, that's the fun of it. Trying to work out how to beat the game, if you know what I mean. The worst thing is, it costs far more than I reckon it's worth. Probably because of all the TV advertising. Judging a poetry competition. It was fascinating judging the Young Poet of the Year award. It seems many young poets today are putting aside traditional dreamy views of trees, flowers, and rivers in order to tackle more everyday life topics. As you might expect, some of them showed great ability in seeing the funny side of life and dealing with it in an amusing way. 
When discussing the poems as judges, we discovered something remarkable. Of the 150 finalists, at least 20 had more than one poem. One, more than a dozen. We weren't judging one-offs. We were looking at young poets who wrote all the time and continuously developed their work. It was fascinating judging the Young Poet of the Year Award. It seems many young poets today are putting aside traditional dreamy views of trees, flowers and rivers in order to tackle more everyday life topics. As you might expect, some of them showed great ability in seeing the funny side of life and dealing with it in an amusing way. When discussing the poems as judges, we discovered something remarkable. Of the 150 finalists, at least 20 had more than one poem. One, more than a dozen. We weren't judging one-offs. We were looking at young poets who wrote all the time and continuously developed their work. 5. You hear a young man talking about travelling alone for the first time. When I finished college, I decided to go travelling on my own around Europe. We lived in a small town, and I'd only ever been on a few short trips abroad with my family before. Anyway, I'd been planning the trip for some time, but I hadn't told my parents because I thought they'd be anxious, thinking something could go wrong. When I finally announced the news to them, much to my amazement, they just sat down and spent the rest of the evening looking at maps and giving me advice about what to take. I'd been wondering if they would explode furiously and tell me I couldn't go. When I finished college, I decided to go travelling on my own around Europe. We lived in a small town, and I'd only ever been on a few short trips abroad with my family before. Anyway, I'd been planning the trip for some time, but I hadn't told my parents because I thought they'd be anxious, thinking something could go wrong. When I finally announced the news to them, much to my amazement, they just sat down and spent the rest of the evening looking at maps and giving me advice about what to take. I'd been wondering if they would explode furiously and tell me I couldn't go. 6. You hear part of a talk by a nurse. Caring for people is hard work, but you're giving people something they need. You never know what's going to happen. Every day on the ward is different and you meet loads of different types of people. Most, but not all, are pleasant to deal with, so being friendly but calm is a vital quality. There are plenty of options about the type of people you work with, so some deal with young children or others prefer the elderly patients. One thing is the shifts. You often have to work weekends and nights, but the schedules are quite flexible and you can earn more. Caring for people is hard work, but you're giving people something they need. You never know what's going to happen. Every day on the ward is different and you meet loads of different types of people. Most, but not all, are pleasant to deal with, so being friendly but calm is a vital quality. There are plenty of options about the type of people you work with, so some deal with young children or others prefer the elderly patients. One thing is the shifts. You often have to work weekends and nights but the schedules are quite flexible and you can earn more. 7. You hear a man talking about a long-distance journey he made. The trip took three days and although I could have got there in about two hours by plane, it wouldn't have been such fun. A lot of people think speeding down a motorway for hours on your own is boring, but it's the feeling of being a part of the environment that I love. Having passengers around you, talking and eating is something I'd rather avoid. You can get a bit sick of wearing a crash helmet all day, but what I spent on that and my other protective gear was worth it. When night fell, the wind got very bitter, and I saved on fuel in the end. The trip took three days, and although I could have got there in about two hours by plane, it wouldn't have been such fun. A lot of people think speeding down a motorway for hours on your own is boring, but it's the feeling of being a part of the environment that I love. Having passengers around you, talking and eating is something I'd rather avoid. You can get a bit sick of wearing a crash helmet all day, but what I spent on that and my other protective gear was worth it. When night fell, the wind got very bitter, and I saved on fuel in the end. 8. 
You hear two friends talking about listening to the radio. Do you listen to the radio much? Not usually. But in fact, I woke up this morning to the sound of my mum's playing in the background, and I really got into the programme that was on. What was it? There was a discussion on about building and construction, and I got hooked right away, even though the subject isn't particularly relevant to me or my life. There were some real experts talking about it, and even the presenter seemed impressed by their knowledge of the subject. It's funny how interesting something can be, even though you wouldn't expect it to be. Do you listen to the radio much? Not usually, but in fact I woke up this morning to the sound of my mum's playing in the background and I really got into the programme that was on. What was it? There was a discussion on about building and construction and I got hooked right away, even though the subject isn't particularly relevant to me or my life. There were some real experts talking about it and even the presenter seemed impressed by their knowledge of the subject. It's funny how interesting something can be, even though you wouldn't expect it to be. That is the end of part one. Now turn to part two.